Hello friends, in this video I will solve some balancing problem by ion electron method and what is this? This is I grant it, if you can solve this type of problem it is in your finger tips. Why I am saying this type of word? Because this type of equation is only can achieve by ITN. Okay? Who will very interested about IIT? They can solve this only. Okay? And I will provide some equation after solving this type of problem. Then if you can do, then I think it is very easy to catch IIT for you. Okay. Now, there are four problem here. One, first one is Cr I3 H2O2 plus O is Cr the key form of the formation product is Cr O4 2 minus plus I O4 minus plus H2O. Okay. So at first I will do first one, then second, third, fourth. Okay. How? How we can solve this? It is OH minus, that's mean this reaction takes place in basic medium, no problem. And we are already I already give you a video and in my channel that there is just 10 rules. To solve any ionic balance by using the just 10 rules. Okay, I will apply this. First rule was that at first which one is oxidized and which one is reduced. Chromium, here chromium plus 3 oxidation state, here chromium is plus 6 oxidation state, here iodine is minus 1, here my, this this is plus 7 okay so oxidation takes place for chromium and iodine for both and reduce that is oxygen is reduced here in peroxide the oxygen is minus 1 and in water oxygen is minus 2 and here it is minus 2 minus 2 no problem so only oxygen is reduced here from minus 1 to plus i uh, minus 2 so we can write in this way Cr I3 from Cr I3 to Cr O4 to minus and Cr I3 to I O4 minus. Okay. So this is the oxidation reaction. This is oxidation reaction. Okay. oxidation reaction and H2O2 to water this is reduction reaction this is reduction reaction okay now at first we identify which one is oxidation reaction which one is reduction reaction then we will Identify the oxidation state, change of oxidation state, chromium from plus 3 to plus 6. So, number of electron change is plus 3. So, we can write in this way Cr I3 plus Cr I3 from here I O4 minus plus Cr O4 to minus. Okay. Now, there is a one chromium, one chromium, so we should at first we balance the two chromium. Left hand side there is a two chromium, like right hand side should be two chromium. Here iodine, iodine, three iodine, three iodine, so this is six iodine. Okay. Now we will describe total number of electron chains for chromium, for two chromium, total six electron chains 
okay chromium loses six electron okay then it will get plus six oxidation state by two chromium it lose six electron and by six iodine loses how many electron from minus one to plus seven that is one iodine lose eight electron so eight into eight into six iodine so eight into eight into six electron loses by iodine total total electron loses by iodine is eight into six okay so this is the total number of electron chains for oxidation reaction and what happened here in reduction reaction reduction reaction there is uh, the reduced one is oxygen so there is two oxygen so there is a two oxygen okay now one oxygen one oxygen gain one electron then two oxygen gain two electron okay so two oxygen gain two electron it gives two h2o so this is the electron balance okay now we'll go to charge balance how many minus is there how many minus is there and is there um, in the left hand side there is no minus but in right hand side in this equation there are so many minus that's mean six minus that's mean two into two that is four minus that is six plus four plus six minus that is electron is minus plus four into a uh, six into eight forty eight so this is total minus is this so what is this that is 10 48 54 24 64 so total total electron is 54 so total number of electron is 54 and total negative charge so total negative charge equal to 64 so we should add we should add in the left hand side 64 o is minus so in this basic medium in the left hand side there is a 64 o is minus and right hand side there are 64 minus so it is charge balanced so in oxidation reaction this is charge balanced equation and here here we should use two o is minus in the right hand side because in the left hand side there is a two minus so we should charge balanced by o is minus if for basic medium then there is a two o is minus in the right hand side so this is also charge balanced equation clear now there is a 54 electron is there so we should we should multiply here by 27 to get 54 electron okay so 27 h2o2 plus 27 into 2 that is 54 electron equal to 20, uh, 27 into 2 that is 54 water plus 54 o is minus yes so now in the reduction half reaction there is 54 electron and oxidation half reaction this there is a 54 electron because when oxidation occurred then simultaneously reduction must be occurred so for this reason the number of electron in oxidation state uh, oxidation half reaction must be equal to number of electron in reduction half reaction so for this reason there there is a 54 electron there is also 54 electron so we can add or sum up these two equation to get neat reaction okay to get neat reaction or full reaction that's mean this is ox um, reduction half reaction this is oxidation half reaction so we can sum up we can sum up then we will get 
क्रोमियम आयोडाइड क्रोमियम आयोडाइड दैट्स मीन टू सी आर आई फोर आई सर आई थ्री आई थ्री प्लस सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फोर ओ इस माइनस प्लस प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन एस टू ओ टू फ्रॉम हेयर विल गेट फ्रॉम हेयर विल गेट What was that? Six. We'll get six I O four minus plus plus two C R O four two minus minus plus fifty four H two O. Plus fifty four O is minus. Okay. So left hand side and right hand side must be equal. Then what happened? There is sixty four O is there is fifty four O is minus. Okay. Then two C R I three plus twenty seven is to o2 plus 64 minus 54 as is 10 o is minus from here we will see 6 i o4 minus plus 2 cr o4 2 minus plus 54 is to o so this will be the equation so this is the balanced equation for this redox reaction okay and how if there is a that only uh, that's mean that's mean there is a mm, yes So there is a twenty-seven into two, that is fifty-four hydrogen. Now there is also there is also ten hydrogen. Yes, there is also ten hydrogen is there. Then what happen? Then what happen? Then water will be low. That means the water must be low. So total hydrogen is there. Ten plus ten plus fifty four. Aye, fifty four. Ten plus fifty four means ten plus fifty four means what happened? Ten plus fifty four. So um sixty four. So water must be equal to thirty two because after after complete complete balanced of the metal non metal everything then we will go to balance water for balancing oxygen and hydrogen so in the left hand side 54 plus 10 that is 64 hydrogen so in the right hand side there must be 64 hydrogen so the water will be so some water will lose from here so it will be 32 so this is the balanced equation you can count it anyway some sometimes we can add water from the outside or sometimes we can remove water from the reaction medium this is open system okay for this reason this type of equation is very important for iit now the second one i am taking the second one what was that is b is b cl3 from here ki o3 from here 
plus HCl was there HCl from here we have HB Cl5 plus I Cl plus KCl plus water okay now which one is oxidized here Hb is plus 3 yes and Hb here plus 5 because chlorine is minus 1 so chlorine here is minus 1 is it also minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 no problem this is minus 1 so chlorine there is no change of oxidation state and for iodine iodine this is plus 5 yes minus 6 plus 1 so this is plus 5 so it is only plus 1 clear so iodine from uh, Hb is oxidized and iodine is reduced okay then Hb Cl3 to we can write Hb Cl5 this is oxidation half reaction and KiO3 from this ICl this is the reduction half reaction okay so there is a one iodine there is a one iodine Hb1 Hb1 no problem then what happened here then it loses two electron only so at first we will we will balance by electron Hb Cl3 Hb Cl5 plus two electrons just because it loses two electron then it will get oxidation state 5 and this gain four electron will get ICL okay no problem and in this uh, reaction there is a there is no ion actually this this is the a cell so uh, since it is an acid and it is acid and uh, we can make it first by H plus from here okay then there is no charge there is a two negative charge so we should add H plus to balance the charge okay Hb Cl3 from here Hb Cl5 plus 2 electron so plus 2 H plus must be added in the right hand side to balance the charge this 2 minus this 2 plus so because there is no negative or positive charge so in the right hand side there should not have any positive or negative charge so by this H plus we can balance this okay now here now here KiO3 plus 4E plus 4 is plus from here can get I C L okay so this is charge balanced 4 minus 4 plus it is balanced there is no charge so in the left left hand side there is also no charge okay to get equal number of electron in oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction then we should multiply by 2 for this reaction the 2 Hb Cl3 2 Hb Cl5 plus 4 electron plus 4 H plus here this is this okay now this is the um, reduction half reaction this is the oxidation half reaction so we should add this two half reaction to get the neat reaction or full reaction then we will get 2 Hb Cl3 plus Ki O3 we will get for this as 2 Hb Cl5 then plus 4H plus 4H plus that is 8H plus here and electron uh, sorry 4, uh, 4H plus 4H plus is cut 
so cancel out this is in the left hand side this is in the right hand side so 4 is plus and uh, 4 electron is cancel out then we will get then we will get only i cl okay so to balance potassium to balance potassium we can write on the left hand side is potassium chloride and here a cell so 2 sb cl3 plus k i o3 plus a cell 2 sb cl5 plus i cl plus k cl so this cl comes from the cell so there is a oxygen so we should use water how many water how many water we should balance oxygen so there is a three oxygen in the left hand side so there is three water in the right hand side so three into two six hydrogen so there is a six HCl we must use six HCl okay so in this way we can balance this type of equation so this is very important type of equation clear now what happened for the next reaction what happened for the next reaction this is the balanced equation no problem and there is a typical type of another reaction we can use that is Cu Cu3P plus Cr2 Cr2O7 to minus what happened what happened from here we'll get Cu2 plus plus H3O Four. That's mean H three P O four and plus plus C R three plus. So this is the equation to get H balanced equation. C U. This is phosphoric acid. So we can consider it as a in acidic medium now copper this is a metal it's not metal so this is a plus and phosphorus is 3 minus for and copper is plus 1 here and this is copper plus 2 so copper 3 P plus copper 3 P because there is a two oxidation Copper is oxidized, phosphorus is also oxidized. So from here we will get two equation. That's mean copper to plus plus H three PO four. Okay. So this is the oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction. This is plus six. Okay. The oxidation state of chromium here plus 6 and this is plus 3 so reduction half reaction that's mean cr 2 o 7 to minus 2 cr 3 plus okay so this is the two half reaction this is oxidation half reaction this is reduction half reaction then what happened copper to copper phosphorus to phosphoric acid so for three three copper three copper that's mean six copper phosphorus phosphorus to two phosphorus so already number of atom is already balanced now six copper six copper donate six electron 6 copper donate 6 electron 
okay so in that right hand side six electron for copper six copper donate six electron then will they, they get two plus oxidation state and from minus three oxidation state to plus five oxidation state phosphorus phosphorus gain oxidation state minus three to plus five so total number of electron chains for one phosphorus is eight total total phosphorus is here two that means 16 electron already changed so from minus 3 to plus 5 total number of electron change is 8 so for 2 elect 2 phosphorus this is 16 electron changed okay so phosphorus donate 16 electron by 2 phosphorus okay clear so this is the oxidation half reaction and electron balanced equation now here 2 chromium so there is 2 chromium so 2 chromium accept 6 electron because 1 chromium accept 3 electron to get oxidation state 3 from 6 to 3 then it will get then 2 2 chromium 2 chromium gain 6 electron to get 2 chromium 3 plus okay now total number of electron is 22 total number of electron here is 22 okay this is plus 22 electron no problem now we will balanced by charge balance now this is the time to charge balance there is a 22 minus and 12 plus then 10 minus is extra here 22 into 2 uh, 6 into 2 charge 12 my uh, 12 plus then 22 minus then total number of minus is there 10 so we should add 10 is plus in the right hand side for oxidation half reaction then it is the charge balanced because 2 into 6 12 plus and 10 plus 22 plus then 22 minus okay so it is the charge balanced and here what happened here there is a 2 minus and 6 minus 8 minus then we should add 8 is plus in the left hand side to get balance no 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 there is a also there is a also here a 6, um, 6 plus okay there is 6 plus 6 plus here 6 plus 20 um, so to get 6 plus we should add 8 plus 6 8 plus 6 that's mean 14 14 is plus we should add okay 14 14 plus minus 8 so remains 6 plus so this is the charge balanced equation now there is a 22 electron and here is 6 electron so this equation we can multiply by 6 we can multiply by 6 okay uh, sorry this uh, this equation we can multiply by 22 and this can multiply by 6 to get equal number of electron or we can also we can write in this way that this is 2 2 cu p 2 6 cu 2 plus plus 2 h 3 
फी ओ फोर प्लस प्लस ट्वेंटी टू इलेक्ट्रॉन प्लस टेन एज प्लस सो यू कैन डिवाइड बाई टू दैट्स मीन सी यू थ्री पी दैट इज थ्री सी यू टू प्लस प्लस एज थ्री पी ओ फोर प्लस एलेवेन इलेक्ट्रॉन प्लस फाइव एज प्लस ओके नाउ दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई by 6 then we'll get 6 cup 6 into 3 18 cu2 plus plus 6 is 3 po4 66 electron plus 30 is plus uh. and we can multiply this equation by 11 to get equal number of electron so 11 11 cr2 o7 to minus plus 66 electron plus 14 into 11 एस प्लस फ्रॉम हेयर गेट इलेवेन इंटू टू दैट इज ट्वेंटी टू सी आर थ्री प्लस सो दिस इज एफ ऑक्सीडेशन हाफ रिएक्शन दिस इज द रिडक्शन हाफ रिएक्शन ना वी कैन साम ऑफ दिस टू इक्वेशन वी कैन साम ऑफ दिस टू इक्वेशन to get full reaction then what happen what happen 6 save p this was plus 11 cr2 o7 to minus electron electron cancel out then plus this is h plus that's mean 14 14 into 11 is plus in the right hand side 18 cu2 plus plus 6 is 3 po4 plus Plus twenty two CR three plus okay clear now what happened this is the equation then. what was that no this is not okay then what happened that was extra from the other equation okay then 6 into 3 copper that is 18 copper 6 phosphorus so 6 phosphorus is there 2 into 11 chromium so 22 chromium is there then now to get water should use that 14 into 11 that is 124 so this is actually 124 so 124 h plus is there Then one twenty four H plus and three into six H is. is there. So we should use fifty three H two O fifty three into six hundred six hundred six H plus plus eighteen 
is plus equal to 124. So this is the balanced equation. Clear? So in this way, you can balance such type of equation. So we will take another equation or in this way you can relate and you can solve and I am giving you the homework homework that is like AS is 3 plus KCLO3 from here is 3 is 3 AS O4 plus KCL clear this one equation and we can give you another equation this is one second equation I am giving you PB N3 2 plus cobalt this is cobalt Mn O4 minus okay this is whole 3 then from here can get cobalt oxide plus MnO2 2 plus red lead PB3O4 plus NO so you can balance this and get confident about the balanced equation okay thank you and please subscribe this channel to get more update and you'll get so many problem from here and this is very essential for iit thank you